Another new feature in Ableton 7 is the long awaited side chaining. Just gonna choose the side here. The best one will be a continuous one like this one to demonstrate side chaining and how it works. Just gonna shorten the loop a little bit because it's silent at the end and I wanna get more. Smooth loop that will do nicely. So I'm just going to add, first of all, compressor to this channel, which is the first plugin that Ableton have added side chaining to. It looks a little bit different now, but um, much better. Uh, and this new arrow is new, so just click on it, and you get a side chaining option, which wasn't there before. And we'll come back to that in a second. Next thing you need to do is side chain it with something. So I'm going to add a kick to do a classic side chaining trick. So first of all, add impulse and then just add a simple kick. It doesn't really matter what it sounds like because you're not going to hear it anyway. You just have to worry about the length of it. Because that will determine how much is side chained. So let's just make a f one bar. Okay, so they both play at the same time and they're working as they're supposed to. Click on external and you need your source to be impulse so that the kick is coming into the compressor. Bring the threshold down, you start to hear the side chain. You can just mess around with your arm movements until you've got the sound you want. This game affects the level of the kick you need to make the press. And you can preview what's coming in by clicking the little head button. It also has an EQ specific. that's side chaining with the new compressor. But on top of that, Ableton have also added side chaining to different plugins. The second one being gate. It's pretty straightforward, same idea. It's got a new little arrow. If you just click on it, again, external and the source of impulse. Let's click play. As you can hear, you only hear the sound of the pad when the kick is playing into it. There's a mix function too, which determines how much of the kick is going in the gate. And the gain also, which is just the level of the kick. Pretty straightforward for gate. And finally, they've also added it to auto filter, which is just at the top. You just drag it onto the pad channel, and again, there's a new arrow. Click on that again, external, and put impulse as your source. You don't hear anything at the minute until you change the envelope. And now you start to hear the kicks effect of the auto filters. And of course, the louder the game, the more will be affected. And the same for them. You can just play around with the parameters until you get the sound that you're looking for. And 
that side chain in the new live set. 